गाइस आज के वीडियो में थोड़ा सा अजीब गरीब डी होने वाला है इट्स बिकॉज आई एम एक्चुअली नॉट गेटिंग रेडी टू गो एनी वे सो आई वॉज नॉट इन्वाइटेड टू एनी न्यू ईयर्स ईव पार्टी बट वी स्टिल गन गेट ड्रेस्ड नेवर लेस इवन इफ आई वॉज इन्वाइटेड आई प्रॉब्लम वन गो एनी वे बिकॉज आई एम इन ट्रेड सो आई वुड जस्ट प्रॉब्लम स्टे इन द कॉर्नर द इंटायर टाइम ईटिंग फूड दैट्स इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ आई वेरी क्लेंस राइट नाउ वन द क्लिनिक ऑल अबाउट क्लीन माइल्ड facial liquid soap this one and by the way all this like clinic stuff and that one was from for free because my sister she bought clinic, product, clinic products and because she bought a certain amount she got like free products so me being the great chaudy man ben heard and so i borrowed her stuff now all right so Right, so now I'm using a toner because I have dry skin. So this is like bought a chat toner here, and it literally just moisturizes your entire face. It's so good. A toner that I'm using from Mini Soap. Right, I'm a very boring person. So after that, while the toner is still wet, I'm gonna put like a clinic moisture surge lotion. This one is a bit pricey. The thing is, I got it for free from my sister. So yeah, it's really nice and hydrating. What have you guys been up to lately? Like, what shows have you been watching? Me, me, dekhi hu Castaway Diva ek K drama hai, bahut acha hai. And I'm halfway through the first episode, and it's really, really interesting. Yeah, I'll show you the final fit at the end, and this is not the fit that I would be wearing to a New Year's Eve party. So yeah, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is color correct. Using an eyeshadow, um, it's called Fifty Supernatural Glow from Morphe. I really like this palette because then I can easily color correct. There's like the aesthetic wall that I've made today. Like there's blue lights that are flashing and BTS promo cards. And the T, you guys might be wondering what the T is. The T, my name doesn't even start with T. Like I just found this random letter somewhere around the house, and I'm like. Why don't I just stick it up on the wall because it looks nice? <laughs> and uh, I liked the lot. Color correcting with what shade? With the shade Wild Card. Wild Card is this one over here. It's like this really deep orange. And because I've got a deeper skin tone under my under eyes, I need like a really vibrant orange to go with it. I can probably hear the birds outside. In Australia, our birds blow hot, blow hot, loud or dare. Like they literally can wake you up in the morning. That's how loud they are, literally. Guys, I'm gonna meme now, Benio, with this eyeshadow look. This kind and free concealer from Rimmel over mm -hmm. here. It's in the shade number four tan. I really like this concealer because of vegan hair. What hydrating be hair? Be hair. It's yeah concealer. But the thing is, I wish it was a slightly less patchy. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a great concealer. Use like conceal like a foundation. Or something, or do you guys just use concealer like me for a walk? Because for me, I feel like concealer does the trick because con foundation can be a bit too much sometimes on your skin, and it just makes me look so bad. I don't know why. What movies are you guys watching right now? They've had some good movies come out lately, like Donkey. Me Donkey, me Donkey, Donkey here. But I just haven't gotten the chance yet to go to the cinemas and go watch Donkey. The uni ki shuruat hone wali hai, literally. I'm like so nervous for that. Like I'm so nervous for that. I just hope I make friends because I'm like kind of introverted. So now to cover the hollowness of my eyes, my foundation make it poly C X lighter shade. Kati mu, but this tomorrow Kati mu. Where's my edging brush? With like an edging brush, right? Yeah, with like an this. You see this like slanted brush? That's great for this kind of work. You put it down over. Where the hollowness in the eye, just and you're going inwards and you blend inwards. So, so this is to reduce the hollowness of your eye. So I have a pest prep. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. I can't be bothered to put it back up. It's come off so many times. It's so, it, it's so frustrating actually. So I mean, now using this Elf setting powder. Uh, I don't know. I think it's in a light medium shade. They don't. They don't have that many shades, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna use that. It's honestly kind of hard to open, which I don't like. But other than that, Elf is a great brand. I would re definitely recommend them. <laughs> Thanks for opening. 
And welcome back. Few moments later. Welcome back to another season of 18 year olds struggling with daily life skills. Why isn't this opening? Like, I'm genuinely wondering why this is not opening. In content. Okay, so Tata Puff. I love Puff. I like the Rimmel Multitasker color. Multitasker concealer is much better. Anyway, so that is the eye makeup look done to nose contouring. And with that same slanted brush, very fierce by nature, and this is what it looks like from Morphe again. Can you guys tell I'm a bit obsessed? So now I'm just going to grab the shade, the OG, because I'm not the OG, <laughs> I guess. And I'm just going to contour now. Well, no, I do really feel like concealing my lips. Oh my god. I'm so I'm so bad at this, guys. Face to do your. Oh my goodness, I got. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> I got the concealer on my pants. I'm gonna get back to the nose contour. Let me go do that. You guys like BTS, by the way. That's such a random thing to say. But look at the BTS photo cards on the aesthetic kind of wall. I love BTS. I got those photo cards from Malaysia up there. Alright, so the contour did not work out like I like it usually does today. So it kind of looks a bit bad, but it's alright. It's okay, it happens. So I'm going to just contour this up for that snatched, lifted look, you know? Okay, guys, you need to make sure whatever you do that you blend your contour properly. Or else it's going to look so weird from the side. See, the blend contour is all being blended. And after that, you're going to follow it up with... Concealing the sides of your nose because you have to conceal the sides of your nose if you want the shadow to disappear as close as you can into your nose I have three months before no no until February I think before I start uni and yeah, um, I'm doing a double degree. That's all I can tell you I don't think I'll reveal what degree I'm doing till we hit a million subscribers But all I can say is that the uni admission process has been so hectic and annoying. It's so annoying literally your nose going like this, like an exclamation mark. As everyone else contours their name way, nose a certain way, that doesn't mean you have to either. Awesome. And then after that, I'm gonna take a highlighter. This is in 001 The Stardust from Rimmel, the highlighter. I love it so much. And you're gonna go And get a smaller slanted brush. Can you tell that I'm like obsessed with slanted brushes? And I found this Douyin makeup technique. By the way, I've been watching so, so much Douyin makeup, but I don't think it would ever suit me. I'm gonna use this brush, and I'm pretty sure it's a concealer brush. But do we care? It's fine. Then going back to the 3503 Fierce by Nature shade, I'm gonna use the not shade eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use the shade Flame Game. Or actually no, not flame them. Tempting, tempting, tempting without the G at the end. Tempting. Which is kind of like the look I'm going for. And after that, going back to that palette, I'm using the shade Embers, which is like this brighter orange, as you can see. That I'm gonna go to a more glittery one. Glit major. It's called. Stun, stun wild, stun wild. I don't even know what that means. Stun wild. Like someone, tell me in the comments. Like what is? Okay, and after that, I'm gonna use chunky glitter in the shade Make Believe. It's really chunky. Like I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm like that's so chunky. Full hot chunky here. Guys, my chunky pande. No, I know. No, guys, I'm not referring to chunky pande. And I'm just gonna go down the middle with that because I learned this Korean makeup technique. That's one done. Looks good. That looks nice. Again, starting again. Look, my hand is like gross with all like rubbing all the stuff off. Moving on, I'm gonna start that again with a shade peach. Not um pande. Even though it's meant to be summer. What's a, um, 
into the next color. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow look. Let me know what you guys think of it because it's meant to complement complement the brown outfit. And now I'm going to do something for. I'm gonna get some Vaseline and I'll be fine. Eyelashes. And you put it into the Vaseline there. So yeah, I think it's a universal experience making this look of uh, when you're doing your uh, eyelashes like. Why? Tell me why. 006. I'm going to use the other side to get rid of some of it. It looks kind of overwhelming. Clean hands, yeah. Clean hands. Get some Vaseline. And you just put it over your brows to make them stay in place. Okay? You don't even need to get a, uh, what do you call it? A brow gel because it's so much cheaper. I'm just using this and it works the exact same way, arguably better. Liner from Wet and Wild in the shade. The lip liner from Wet and Wild in the shame in the shame in the shade chestnut. What's on there? And then clear lip gloss from Elf. Now we finish up with this setting spray from Rimmel. Oh guys, I just realised I forgot to put on primer. But yeah, I usually use this primer underneath my makeup and it comes out way smoother. And I use this sunscreen. I got it from Free, yes, last year because I went to an F1 event and they were just handing out. fit i feel like the orange eyeshadow complements the brown really well and i've just got this necklace from equilibrium it's a heart necklace you guys can see it's a heart and key necklace a pearl necklace as well, i mean pearl bracelet and yeah that's about it and i've got these high heels on i got these nude high heels on because i thought they would pair well yeah, the heart arch got fit. It's like a linen dress, so I feel like it would be good for like almost like a formal NYE. And you guys might be wondering why I'm standing on a paper for... At, like standing on a piece of paper. It's because I don't wear shoes at home like every other Indian. And yeah, so I'm just trying not to get the floor dirty. That's why. Anyway, I hope... Guys, I thought another way of pairing this would be like with this coat. Oh, <laughs> And... It's just like a double breasted, breasted trench coat. I think it goes pretty well with it. It's nice and formal. I'll show some. Wow, okay. That's annoying. That's like the 10th time today. I'll show, show some photos of me posing in the dress at the end of the video. Bye. If you guys to enjoy today's DR room and let me know if you guys want to make me this a series or something please like and subscribe to